This way nearly ran to me. No, I did not. You yeah, slammed on your brakes. You had no brake. You had no turn signal or nothing. I had to turn around on the car without speeding. I'm doing my job out here, sir. Give me a last. You hit me. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll see you in court, dude. Stick it on the brakes. I'm not sure what's going on here. Stick it on. Look at my car. All right, take a seat in the car for right now. We're on traffic stop right now. Hey, okay. You hit my fucking car. We're on I traffic stop right now. Out here. I want to see the damage done to my. Give me a minute. We're on a traffic stop right now. Once I get done with my traffic stop, we're falling too closely. I was not falling too close. Clearly, you were. You hit me. You stopped in the middle of a roadway, sir. No, you I didn't stop. I got over and I was I was in the lane. You trying to speed the back up. No, no I was trying to speed the back up. Okay, you sir. You slammed on your gas. Okay. And you hit us. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I'm so I told you why I stopped you because you were following me too closely. But I wasn't. But okay. okay. We'll see in court. Okay. Do you have an ID on you, ma'am? I sure do. You don't need your ID. Yes, I do actually for the accident report That's that you fine. so that you so want, sir. Yes. I do want it. Okay. You fucking hit me. There's no damage between our vehicles, though. I don't well, give a. Bro, you. Yeah. Trooper Wingo rips open Mr. Donner's door, orders him to exit the vehicle, and places him under arrest for disorderly conduct. Arkansas's disorderly conduct law, which is found in Sto, rips open. Hit me. There's no damage between our vehicles, though. I don't well, give a. F bro, you. F hit me. Yeah. Ah. Trooper Wingo rips open Mr. Donner's door, orders him to exit the vehicle, and places him under arrest for disorderly conduct. Arkansas's disorderly conduct law, which is found in section 5-71-207 of the Arkansas Code, states that, quote, a person engages discussed before on ATA, profanity is protected speech under the First Amendment, and citizens cannot be arrested for simply using curse words. For instance, in the two people under this same such, it th in reaching the, the First Amendment danger, those are challenged. Given the well-established legal precedent protecting the right to use profanity and express disapproval of police officers, a court would almost certainly conclude that Trooper Wingo's actions violated Mr. Donner's constitutional rights. You're under arrest for disorderly conduct, sir. Ooh. Come on. Take a seat. So you can calm down. <laughs> Ma'am, there was no need for cussing me out. Until he can calm down and act like an adult, Listen, he's going to sit in the back of the car. Let me explain to you. My husband Will has you? severe PTSD. Severe. Severe. He's a 100% disabled veteran. And he is fucking. That's why I'm here. You're going to talk, talk to me? You're going to let me talk? Or are you just going to interrupt me the entire time, ma'am? I'm sorry. Okay. Until he can calm down and act like a human being and stop cussing me out for no reason. So I'm trying to explain to him what happened. But he doesn't want to let me talk, okay? So do you want to let me talk or not? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Now. You gonna calm down or you gonna continue cussing? I just want your badge and number in your name. Are you gonna, I'm asking you a simple question. So are you gonna calm sure. down? I just want your badge and number in your name. That's all I want. Okay, well I'm trying to ask and you And I said question. sure, officer. Okay, well you gonna continue cussing me out or not? Cause that was that, and you're gonna say sure, then I'm not gonna have you sit out here and cuss me for no reason. There's no fit to, you're not incriminating yourself, sir. Here, Trooper Wingo tells Mr. Donner that he doesn't need to invoke his right to silence because he's not being asked incriminating questions. However, the Fifth Amendment applies to a much broader range of interrogation than blatantly incriminating questions, and individuals should exercise their right to remain silent in a variety of situations. In the 1951 case of Hoffman v. United States, the, in the chain of evidence, or when it is, quote, similarly, in the 2000 truthful response, in this situation, answering even a seemingly innocuous question, such as, are you going to calm down now, could have caused Mr. Donner to unintentionally implicate himself. For instance, if Mr. Donner had agreed to calm down and stop cussing out Trooper Wingo, it could have insinuated that his conduct was unreasonable before he was handcuffed, and that he believed that his detention was justified. This is one of the many reasons that citizens should invoke their right to remain silent when police officers attempt to question them, as when an individual answers a question inexactly or incorrect. Okay. This is gonna end horribly. I just want him, I'm trying to get him to calm down. But he doesn't want to, he wants to continue yelling at me for no reason, okay? 
I don't know if he has malicious intent. He's over here yelling and cussing me. Now I'm just trying to get his information and he wants to start yelling and stop in the middle of the road for no reason. I understand why he was freaking out because you hit our car. That's why he was upset it was because you hit us. Driver was back, so he started cussing me out and I have a I'm trying to have a okay. down back. Okay. But everything's good to go. Yeah. He just wants to yell and cuss me for no reason, so I got him out and put him in because he's texting me. You're good? Yeah. Okay. I was coming this way. He was, I saw him riding my butt. Okay. I didn't really care. Car top to going 60. I'm on overtime. Just turned around. Right. When I went turn around, he slammed me. He oh. hot. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he, I have to turn around. I don't slam my brakes or anything. I hit my brakes. Turn around. I knew he was riding my butt. around to come behind him. He moves straight over from the inside lane to the outside lane. Moves straight over and just slams on the brakes. Okay. And I'm just trying to get behind him and he slams on the brake. And I didn't even have my lights on at that point, but he just stops in the middle of the road. Trooper Wingo recounts his version of events to a fellow trooper who responded to the scene, which is wildly different from what the dash and cab cam show actually occurred. First, Trooper Wingo claims that Mr. Donner was following him too closely, but the cab footage shows that Mr. Donner left plenty of distance between the two vehicles while Trooper Wingo was driving in front of him. Trooper Wingo also alleges that he had not activated his emergency lights when Mr. Donner stopped his vehicle, but the cab cam also shows that he did in fact turn on his emergency lights before the collision occurred. Finally, Trooper Trooper Wingo insists that Mr. Donner stopped in the middle of the road, when Mr. Donner had clearly pulled into the right lane to yield to the police vehicle. What the video footage also shows is that Trooper Wingo started to make a U-turn without first getting into the middle turning lane. Then, when Mr. Donner honked his horn at him, Trooper Wingo turned back around to pull over Mr. Donner and ultimately slammed into Mr. Donner's vehicle when he stopped. Although Arkansas law does allow police vehicles to disregard traffic laws in some circumstances, they are generally required to follow the same rules of the road as everyone else. For example, section 20, but nor shall it so illegal. Look, baby. You see these cars? You see the flag? You see the mark? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess our U-turns are legal when we're going out but the road. Like it doesn't right. make any difference. Okay. And what you did, slam on I your didn't brakes. slam on my brakes. That's his word. That's not my, my wife's word. That's fine. Oh, I didn't slam on my brakes. Trooper Wingo eventually released Mr. Donner without charging him with disorderly conduct and issued him a citation for following too closely and parking on a highway. Because of the traumatic experience they had with Trooper Wingo, the Donners decided not to fight these charges and paid the $330 fine. The couple recently decided to retain an attorney to pursue a civil rights lawsuit against Trooper Wingo, and Ms. Donner has created a GoFundMe campaign to help cover the costs of attorney fees. You can find a link in the description below. Overall, Trooper Wingo gets an F for causing a crash.